Graham Cray. Now, you have to understand where this is coming from. Uh, he's a former chairman of the Greenbelt Fast Festival, a three-day Christian music event. And it features groups from hardcore to classical, acoustic to junk funk. And this is what he said. In all pop music, lyrics are secondary. Pop is music of feeling, spoken primarily to the body and only secondary to the intellect. That's powerful from the guy that's putting on a festival that has all kinds of music. So now let's think this through for a moment. If we have a spiritual word and a spiritual photo, for instance, and we'll see here that we have, we have both S's present, that means the S is for spiritual and the S is for spiritual photo. So if we have spiritual words and a spiritual photo, would that be okay for the Christian to behold? Let's say we have a beautiful picture of, of an apostle, for instance, and there's scripture on it. There's Jesus, even better, and there's scripture on it. Would that be great for you to behold? There's nothing wrong with that, amen? Now, what if you had, if you had uh, non-carnal words and a spiritual photo? Would that be okay? Sure. What if it had a beautiful picture of, of a mountain and it said, you can climb to the top, go for it, or something like that. You can do it. Would that be wrong for us to behold? No, because the, the, the spiritual, uh, non-carnal words, excuse me, they're neutral, if you will. And the spiritual component is present, which would be maybe, maybe not necessarily spiritual, but a, an ambiguous type neutral photo. But now what if we had a spiritual photo and carnal words? Now, what do I mean by carnal, by the way? Let's define carnal for a moment. Carnal means, for the Christian, anything that is pulling us toward sensuality, pulling us toward uh, inappropriate thoughts of killing, of rape, of murder, of sex, of drugs, of all this kind of stuff, anything that stimulates the flesh outside of God. What if we had carnal words and a spiritual photo? So we have a picture of some preacher up there, and it had cuss words on it. Would that be acceptable? No, why? Because the cuss words weren't sanctified by the okay photo, right? Does that make sense? Absolutely. So moving on, what if we had a carnal photo and spiritual words? So for instance, we have someone standing up there without any clothing on, and it has scripture on it. Ugh. Right? That's just like wrong on a whole bunch of different levels. So the reality is we're having a mismatch between the vehicle and the message. Hello? Does that make sense? Okay, so if any time the carnal element shows up, in this case an inappropriate photo, then it's inappropriate for the Christian. Let's look at the word spiritual song for a moment. This is very interesting because I got stumped on this until, because they'd come up to me and say, well, you sing yours over here, Christian, and we're going to sing all of our rock and roll craziness, whatever we want, because we're singing the spiritual songs. And I would say, Lord, they can't be right because you can't use the things of the world, the fallen world and the flesh and of Babylon and, and actually uh, co-opt it and use Jesus' lyrics and it's okay. So I looked up the word spiritual. I started doing some exegesis, and I started to do some study, and I found that the Greek word for spiritual is non-carnal. Amen? That is so awesome to me. So in other words, the Bible says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and in non-carnal songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. So the reality is, friends, it's not supposed to stir the carnal passions the base passions. Thank you, Lord. Music is a language, and it should be conducted in clear and understandable ways. In, in our languages, we have letters, and letters make up words that make up sentences and paragraphs, and paragraphs make up chapters, and chapters make up books. In music, we have notes that make up measures, that make up phrases and sections and movements and entire compositions. Language, whether spoken or played, has the ability to affect our thoughts and feelings, influencing our characters, right? We've already discovered that quickly when we played those samples. Now, everybody look here for a moment and tell me how you respond to this when I say this. Ready? 
I love Jesus. You said, amen. What do you think about that? What do you think about, I love Jesus? It's great. What? It's good. What? Sincere. How about over here? You do too. Amen. All right. So, awesome. So you're responding to the words or the body language? Both. Okay, both. All right. So I could simply use these words and say, I love Jesus, and I can make a proclamation. So now are you saying that the body language and the words must match? Yes. You know where I'm going with this, right? How about this one? Ready? Everybody look. I love Jesus. What do you think about that? What? Sarcastic, negative, insincere, a fraud, uncaring. Okay, wait a minute. I said the same lyrics. I love Jesus. What were you reading that undermined the words? The body language. Music has body language, friends. And so if I'm playing a song that's kind of trite, whatever, I love you, and I'm saying I love Jesus, whatever, I can undermine the lyrical content just with the musical composition. Does that make sense? Put this little tool in your notes because these are things that help us to decide the music we should be listening to. All right, so that would be like kind of whatever. Try it. Okay, how about this one? Everybody watch because we are reading body language. And in this situation, we, we read body language with our eyes. However, when we're listening to music, we read body language with our ears. Okay, ready? Here we go. I love Jesus. Ooh, what do you mean? What? I'm just saying I love Jesus. What do you think about that? Besides, ew. I love him in the wrong way. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Why? Because it was sensual. I love Jesus. Like, ooh, you know? No. I mean, if my wife said, I love you, that works. Amen? But I'm not, I'm, we're supposed to love Jesus, right? But we're not supposed to love Jesus, right? Okay, so that's the reality, is that when we, that would be sensual. So we could be listening to music that is, that it has great lyrics. I love Jesus. And it could be totally inappropriate because it's sensual. Is that making sense? Okay, so how about this one? I love Jesus! I like that one because everybody goes, Ugh. I'm mad. Anger. I love Jesus. So what if I'm playing a song? I love Jesus. I mean, do you see almost how silly it is when we start thinking it through? <laughs> I know what's going to go on YouTube now. Unbelievable. <laughs> We've already set this up, and you're going to tell me how you respond to this, because now he's going to play a little bit more over the keyboard using harmony and melody, and of course rhythm, which we'll get to in just a moment. Go ahead. So how do you respond to that? Peaceful, soothing, touching. You see, it was the same melody and chords, yet we changed the body language of it. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's powerful right there. Okay, now how about this one? Go ahead. that one well how do you feel with that how, what's wait a minute what's the language telling you because there's no lyrical content here hello what's the what's the language of music telling you right now angry what 
who died. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, it's like, oh, 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 you know. So, but that's the point of music. That's why if you were to watch a film without a music score, it would have like a third of the impact, if that. You could have a person sitting under a tree and have this, la, 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 la. it would be like, oh, that's nice. Or, and the camera could be doing like slow push in, right? Or you could have the same exact scene that's going, dun, 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 dun. They're like, oh, no, what's going to happen? Because music alone has the body language. Are you getting it? All right, praise God. So we have to think about this. Even if it has Jesus' lyrics on it, the music itself could be sending a whole different message. 